The Cumbria shootings, also known as the Cumbria Massacre, was a tragic and horrifying event that occurred on June 2, 2010, in the picturesque county of Cumbria in northwest England. This devastating incident, which unfolded over several hours, left 12 innocent people dead and 11 others injured. It remains one of the deadliest mass shootings in the history of the United Kingdom, and shocked the nation to its core. Cumbria is a rural and serene county known for its stunning landscapes, quaint villages, and a close-knit community. It was in this peaceful setting that Derek Bird, a 52-year-old taxi driver, carried out a rampage of violence that would forever scar the region. Bird was born and raised in Cumbria, and he was well-known within the community as a taxi driver who had been working for more than two decades. The morning of June 2nd started like any other in Cumbria. However, as the day unfolded, it became clear that something horrific was happening. Bird began his shooting spree in the coastal town of Whitehaven, where he lived. He started by targeting fellow taxi drivers, many of whom he knew personally. It is believed that disputes over fares and personal grievances were the initial motivations behind his attacks. After the initial shootings, Bird began driving through the picturesque countryside, randomly targeting people he encountered along the way. He used a .22 caliber rifle and a shotgun, both of which he legally owned. His choice of firearms, along with the knowledge of the local terrain, allowed him to carry out his rampage effectively. The police were quickly alerted, and a massive manhunt was launched to apprehend Bird. The ensuing hours were marked by fear and uncertainty as people tried to stay safe and informed. Bird's seemingly indiscriminate choice of victims added to the terror, as anyone in his path was at risk. The victims of the Cumbria shootings were ordinary people going about their daily lives. They included fellow taxi drivers, pedestrians, and even individuals who had the misfortune of crossing paths with Bird while he was on his deadly mission. Among the victims was Bird's own twin brother, David Bird, who was shot and killed at his home. The senselessness of the violence and the fact that many of the victims knew their attacker personally added a layer of tragedy to the events. Cumbria had lost not only lives, but also its sense of security and trust within the community. As the news of the shooting spread, a massive police response was coordinated. Armed officers scoured the county in search of Derek Bird. The local community rallied together, providing support to those affected and offering any information that might help locate the gunman. The manhunt continued for several hours, and it finally came to an end when Bird's body was discovered in a wooded area near the village of Boot. He had taken his own life, choosing not to face the consequences of his heinous actions. Bird's motives for the rampage remained a subject of speculation, as he did not leave behind a clear explanation for his actions. The aftermath of the shootings saw an outpouring of grief and condolences for the victims and their families. The tight-knit community of Cumbria came together to support one another during this dark period, exemplifying the resilience and strength of the human spirit in the face of tragedy. The Cumbria shootings had a profound impact not only on the local community, but also on the United Kingdom as a whole. It raised questions about gun control and firearm licensing laws in the country. Byrd had legally owned the weapons he used in the shootings, leading to calls for stricter regulations surrounding gun ownership. In response to the tragedy, the government initiated a review of firearms legislation, leading to some changes in the law regarding gun ownership. While the UK has always had relatively strict gun control measures compared to countries like the United States, the Cumbria shootings highlighted the need for even greater scrutiny and regulation. The Cumbria shootings serve as a tragic reminder of the potential for violence that exists in even the most peaceful and idyllic places. It underscores the importance of mental health support and intervention, as Derek Bird's motives and mental state were under scrutiny following the event. Furthermore, the response of the community and the authorities demonstrated the resilience of individuals and the capacity for communities to come together in the face of adversity. It also highlighted the need for improved communication and coordination during such incidents to minimize harm and facilitate a quicker resolution.